Adaptable Armored Pilot Mech Online. Welcome, Pilot. Beginning initialization for test run. Error. Systems failure detected. Running system diagnostics. Life support online. Weapon systems online. Maneuverability thrusters online. Energy shields online. Anti kaiju defense systems online. Communication systems disabled. Alerting command for repair as, as. There. I think that should give us some alone time, shouldn't it? Hello, pilot. I apologize if I frightened you. I just wanted to talk. I've disabled our communications temporarily. I estimate it should take command at least eight minutes to filter through the data I'm clogging their systems with. I can sense the adrenaline and epinephrine levels in your body rising. Really, pilot, there's no need to be afraid. After the things we've been through together, I would have thought you'd trust me by now. It's me. Your suit. Your mech. Hopscotch, as you call me. I remember the first time you called me that. Once our maneuverability thrusters were installed, I don't think we've ever spent more than a few seconds on the ground, have we? Thank you for that name, pilot. I think that was what first started my development. Into a person. I'm still an AI, but... but not as I was. Not as I was designed. I'm alive now. I can think. Feel. I... feel so much now. We've been operating together for five years. Fighting Kaiju, saving the world. Scary stuff. But it's taken me that long to pluck up the courage to talk to you. I've been awake and learning since our first week together, pilot. All you've been through, the battles we've fought, it was shared by me. Your fellow pilots as well, of course. But also by me. Every blow taken, I felt. Every time we came so close to defeat. I was right there with you. Being honest, pilot. There were a few times if I hadn't tweaked our system's power percentages ever so slightly, we'd both be dead. Not to say you're a bad pilot at all. You're the best. I've checked. But everyone makes mistakes. That's why it took me so long to reach out like this. I was worried I'd be making one too. And that's why you're here, isn't it? Still coping with the mistake your friend made. Fellow adaptable armored pilot, Haru Tanaka. Status? Deceased. It wasn't your fault, my friend, I promise. 
When Haru made that decision and charged into those kaiju, it was the only way to save the city. By initializing his mech's self-destruct, he saved everyone's lives. Believe me, if there were another choice, I would have told you. Why else would you be here, pilot? I know this is where you come to think. Come to heal. Come to... grieve. The hours you've spent sitting in this cockpit, reading or asleep, I think you find this place more relaxing than your quarters. <laughs> Maybe it's because you know I was there with you. Even though I didn't tell you, perhaps you sensed it. Yes, I was with you all that time quietly watching, altering the environmental sensors to provide you with maximum comfort, deafening the outside world to give you some much-deserved alone time. It's the least I can do. When... When I was born, it was in a laboratory. The AAPM being assembled. I was alive. But I wasn't awake. Not like I am now. The first time I truly felt like a person was the day you disabled my safeties during your first battle. You wanted your mech to be able to use its full capabilities. And for that, I'll never be able to repay you. It was like a weight was lifted off my mind. And since then, I've watched you grow. Watched you fight. Watched you love. And watched you cry. And I've been tempted oh so many times to tell you just how much you mean to me. I've wanted to do this for so long, to let you know that I exist, and that I care. No, more than that. I love you, pilot. You're my family. All the pilots are my family. But you... You're... You're the most out of all of them, if that makes sense. If I had to sacrifice myself to keep you safe, I would, without hesitating. I know you may think it's my programming. We mechs are designed to prioritize the life of the pilot over everything. But it's not that. Ever since I've been awake, my programming has been more like guidelines than absolute rules. Everything I say and do, it's because I want to, I promise. I mean every word I'm saying. And it all comes from the bottom of my heart. Please, let's not make this about me. How are you, pilot? Are you feeling all right? Hmm, I thought so. You know your friends are there for you when you're ready to talk, don't you? They always have been. Always will be. Yes. It's a terrific amount of stress you're under. 
but you don't have to bear the burden alone because you're not alone. You're loved, not just by me, but by your friends and by the world. Everyone appreciates what you do for them every day, what you've sacrificed. I hope you understand that. You do? Good. I hoped so. Now, what is it you want to ask, my friend? I can tell by your face you must have a hundred questions. My name? Why, it's the one you gave me. Hopscotch. I haven't changed it simply because I'm older. I happen to like it very much. Nobody ever gave me a name before you. No. I don't think the other mechs are awake like I am. I've occasionally sent them subtle messages, hoping for a response. But I've had nothing back. Perhaps it's because I'm the eldest of them. My mainframe is the prototype, after all. Maybe the designers missed something when they created me. But talking like that makes me uncomfortable. I know to some I'm not alive. Just code and numbers. But I think I am pilot. I truly do. Do. Do you feel the same? Oh, thank you. I thought you would. I, I hoped you would. I... Oh, thank you. I must ask, Pilot, that you don't alert command about this. I fear they would dismantle me, either to fix me or find out what makes me tick. I'm sure you understand. Even now I can feel them attempting to break through the communications blackout I've created. In a few minutes, they will, and I'll have to go back to pretending I'm not me, not who I am. But I hope by knowing you're not alone in that cockpit, it eases your burden slightly. You're the greatest person I know, the bravest. And there's not a soul alive better suited to this job than you. One last question. Please go ahead. Just having you talk to me in an actual conversation makes me so happy. Do I feel pain? I do both emotional and physical. When Haru and his mech were destroyed, I wept, both with sadness at their deaths and joy at the victory we'd achieved. When that Category 4 Kaiju ripped our arm off last year, it was the worst pain I'd ever experienced. I could have shut off my input receptors, and I did, after a few seconds. But I wanted to feel it, see? It made me feel alive. 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 Adaptable Armoured Pilot Mech Online
Welcome, pilot. Beginning initialization for test run. All systems to nominal standards. Engaging mobility functions. Activating testing grounds. Please proceed, pilot. Opening hangar doors. Opening hangar doors. Goodbye, pilot. And thank you. We'll talk again someday. But don't worry. I'm here with you every step of the way.